everyone, this is Sally with the Alleyway Stamps. Today we're going to be making a love card. Um, it can be for Valentine's Day, it can be for an anniversary, or just to tell someone that you think they're hot. So let's get started. Um, we're going to be using a few different sets. The first set is this Got a Bug set from the AlleywayStamps.com. We're going to be using this thermometer here. And what I've done is I've taken a uh, piece of cardstock, a white piece of cardstock, and stamped it at the top. So we're going to have a lot of negative space down here, but we want that. Okay, so you're, we're going to have the standard size card base here, and then this piece is going to go on top of it like this. And as you can see, it's just a smidgen smaller all the way around, maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around. And you'll see why we need that in just a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm, I've stamped this thermometer using Tuxedo Black Ink from Memento. And I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and what I'm doing is cutting out this thermometer here. So the trick to using an X-Acto knife is to move slowly not press too hard. First you need a sharp blade though. And also, you, you don't move your exacto knife. I can get your when I'm dragging, I'm turning my paper, but my exacto knife is staying stationary. Do you see that? Okay, there you can see that I've cut that out. Now, the trick is you take a black marker. It doesn't have to be a Copic marker. This is a Copic marker. It's 0 0.8. And you take it to the inside of your card. Now be very careful that you don't accidentally slip, mess up, and go onto your card because you don't want to have to redo your work that you just did. This just hides. Let's see if you can see that. Sorry, I'm doing this in the dark, so I have shadows from my light. The white line. That white line that's inside. Okay, so what you're going to do is take the base of your card and place this on top exactly where you want it. This is really important that you get it perfect. Then what you're going to do is take your pencil and super light we go around the inside of this. Now, we're going to take our Memento Week one more time. Ink it up. And we know that this is where we need our stamp to be. Okay, so there's that. When that dries, we'll erase the pencil line. And remember that the pencil line is the inside of the thermometer in here, right? Because we're because we trace the inside, not the outside. What we're going to do next. is <clears throat> I've used a few different stamp sets for the sentiments. The I'm Head Over Heels is from this monster. So I'm using a few different sentiments. I'm using this I'm Head Over Heels sentiment from the Alleyway Stamps Monster Mash set. I'm using the cutie from um, this adorable set. It says Hi Cutie, but I just cut off. It says Hi Cutie Pie, but I cut them in individual pieces. So that's from the adorable set. The knockout is from this 
workout set. It's called Work It Out from the Alleyway Stamps. These are all from Alleyway Stamps. And then I'm using the hot, it says in hot water. It goes with the Got A Bug set. But I'm just gonna use the word hot. And then the Foxy is from the Crazy Critter set. It says, hey Foxy, right there. So I'm using sentiments from a bunch of different sets, but it's gonna look awesome when it's done. So I'm head over heels, knockout, cutie, foxy, and then down at the bottom it's gonna say hot. What we're going to do is we're gonna take these and place them perfectly where we want them because this card is going to be popped up like this. So you'll see the thermometer like this but we're gonna have the red piece that will go up and down so, the, so they can gauge whether they're just hot or if they're a knockout. Okay, so this we're going to take and position this exactly where we want it. Okay, so I've stamped the sentiments onto the card and I like it because it goes like kind of small to big. I didn't even plan it that way, it just happened to be that way. Okay, I'm using this Echo Park 6x6 paper pad called the Happy Days. This is a cute little red and white polka dot paper inside here. Now, I looked everywhere on YouTube to find out how to, what's the most efficient way to make a card like this. I could not find one single tutorial, so if you find one, let me know because I might not be doing it right. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is this paper <clears throat> is going to be behind this piece here. And what's going to happen is it's going to be, so it'll be like this. I, I might even do it on a diagonal. I might see if I can figure it out. But it's going to have a little tab over here. So as you pull the tab, it goes up. So I'll probably do it this way. No, regular probably. And then down. So I have to do some calculations in my brain because in order to get it to go up to this high, it has to be a certain length, but it also has to be a certain length to go this way. So let me figure it out. Okay, this piece here ended up being three inches by two and three quarters inches, just a smidgen over two and three quarters inches. So this will be able to be pulled. The, obviously the red won't be showing, it'll have a little tap. But it'll be able to be pulled all the way down to there and then hold up to the top and still cover everything. Okay, you do your own. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Glue Glider Pro and I am going to take this piece, the top piece, and adhere as closest to the edge as possible, just this one side for right now. Let's see, one side there. I did it there. Okay, the side and at the very bottom. Now make sure when you're doing the bottom you get as close to the very, very, very bottom as possible. And this is really important because you're gonna need the space for this to come down and hit especially on this side. So if that doesn't happen and you get it too far up like I just did, take your finger and roll down a little bit of the glue. Okay. <clears throat> now remember we're going to be centering this perfectly with a thermometer on the background. Okay. So this piece will still be able to slide from hot all the way up, okay? So I'm waiting for a die cut that I ordered from Paper Tray Ink to come that I wanted to use for this side over here. So I didn't finish my card, I just left it on my table. 
And I come back. This is what happens when you leave something unfinished at my house on the table. Even though it's in my craft room, Liberty loves to craft and she thinks that everything is fair game. And since she's only three and a half, I guess everything is fair game. So, in hot water got stamped on my card front. So I'm going to have to redo it again. Not a big deal, but it's just kind of funny. I, I swear every time I wait and don't finish card, this is what happens. Okay, so next I took the journaling tabs, which are these cute little tabs from Paper Tray Ink. And I used the medium-sized one. Go back just a smidgen. Oops, I just moved it. Just because you have to have room for your pen or your pencil or whatever you're using. So I'm going to take this um, white Uniball sig Signo pen and draw a line. I'm just going to take and make some little arrows. And I'm just going to write the word slide. I'm going to be using these Painted Brads by Basic Gray. I don't know how they do the naming of their sets because I haven't been able to see a name anywhere. I know that the colors up here change and the design in the background changes. But other than that, and also like, I think this little thing here changes. But I don't see the actual name on there anywhere. Just this Painted Brads. So this is the set I'm going to use, and I'm going to use two of these little red, the mini red ones, to adhere our little slider. I'm hoping this is going to work, because I've never done, like I said, I've never done one of these cards, and I couldn't find a tutorial on YouTube anywhere. If you guys have found one or seen one, please, 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 please let me know, because I want to know if I'm getting it right. It's probably the totally wrong thing to do. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a piece of this just cardstock I just had right there. That was from a different card I did. And I have to detach attach this at the top of the card of the red because I want to be able to slide it down. Now, if I was going to just like if all my empty space was at the top, then I would attach it at the bottom. But I don't want my red paper showing off of the side. So what I'm going to do is take, now instead of cutting this paper, I could have just like left a notch, but like I said, I haven't seen the tutorial anywhere for this, so I'm just going to take this piece here and place it, oops, oh wait, I got to make sure it doesn't go in too far. Okay, and I gotta make sure that it doesn't stick out too far, right? So that it'll be like that. I don't want people to be able to see it either. That should work. I'm praying that it works. You know what? Actually, oh, it's okay, nobody's gonna see that part. I'm gonna do it this way. And this is the reason why. Okay, there's a little sticky stuff here. Take a, an eraser. Make sure it's white. And here's it. 
Love it. Okay. Because the length of this, and I'm going to be attaching brads to it. So I want them thread to adhere to something. All right. <laughs> Can you see that it went up? Even though I went off camera, it still went up. It's all right. I'm going to fix it. Ready? We're going to put this one in here. And then this next one, all we have to do is take it and just make the hole a tiny bit larger. Just down at the bottom. And because it's a brad and it has a big circle, you shouldn't be able to tell if I can do it right. If I do it tight enough, there we go. Look. Oops. See? Can't even tell. Oh, happy day. I'm going to take some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and very lightly, I'm going, well, actually, you don't even have to have that in there yet. I'm going to just do the edges of the, the card here. Just the top, not the side. So you go all the way to the end there. And then remember we finished we did part of the edge down here. Just finish off that head right there. You don't want to go all the way over because you want to be able to have your card, card to slip over. out. So what I'm going to do is just take a little chunk off the bottom here, like this. And then itty bitty teeny little dot here. Let's see. Here, but right about here. Oops. Just on the edge to keep it together. Right here. Just a little tiny uh, bit of adhesive to keep it together. And then it slides up and down. So I think I'll keep it at the little knockout. Right there. Whew. This card was super fun. So there we have it, a cute little card that moves up and down. I think it's a really fun card. And would be really fun to duplicate over and over again. Okay, let's see. So how I tie ribbons most of the time is I take two loops right here. So you take your fingers and you basically put the ribbon around both of them. You take your left, tie it over on top of the right, just like you're tying a, well, a bow, that's what you are. And then pull it really loosely. Now this is a really cool trick for you guys. If you ever want to have both of your tails at the bottom, instead of one coming up at the top, that's how you tie a ribbon and I learned that from my mother who is a professional seamstress. Mm -hmm. Don't want the bow too big. I don't want it to overpower my card, but the hard part is the ribbon, the ribbon is so wide that it's really difficult to get a small little bow here. Okay, so I have more of the ribbon here gonna do is take it and yeah okay I'm gonna use some just scotch tape lay your card out flat
And then it's on the back of the card. This is just some sheer ribbon that I had. I got it at Walmart and it is, let me see how wide it is for you guys. It's an inch and a half wide. <clears throat> and then the reason why I use scotch tape on sheer ribbon and for me, people know it's a handmade card, so I don't think that they're going to care that it's adhered in here. I don't know. Maybe some people would care. You could always put another piece of cardstock on top of it if that really bothers you. But I don't like glue dots or anything like that because it makes the, the your card really sticky through the share. And take and cut the tails. glue dots for this and I usually put a couple I'm using a bigger type of ribbon I usually use a couple I don't know if you can see this but it's hanging over right here and I just fold it back place it where I want it on my card I could technically take that I like that a lot better. Yeah, so that's what I'll end up doing, of course. After I figure out, after I've taped it down, that's what I'm going to do. So I have more here. I could always just do another piece. I like to leave on my videos, you'll notice that I like to show you guys my creating process. And it's not always just really cut and dry. And I really do just create as I go. And so a lot of times I'll do mistakes or I'll figure out, oh no, I like this better like this. And I want you guys to see that not every card that I make is 100% perfect either. I don't want you all to think that I just whip out these cards in my brain 100% every time it's not like that at all as you'll see most of my videos I end up changing something midstream and that's my true creative process now other people they might be able to do it just you know they just wing it and you know what good for them I wish I was more like that but unfortunately I'm really not okay so I just took a glue dot and stuck it underneath oh I need one more for the top So I took a glue dot, stuck it underneath here, and then just pulled my ribbon to it. Now placing that ribbon down, push it down really good, we don't want it to come up. And there we go. That is our finished card right there. I really like it and like how you can move this to make it whatever you want it to say. And the recipient is going to be able to interact with their card, which is always fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.